We want to look now at President Obama's much-anticipated message on jobs tonight. He'll speak to a joint session of Congress. The goal here for the president with this plan to jumpstart the stagnant economy, and of course it wouldn't hurt him if he could give a boost to his poll ratings as well. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has a preview for us this morning. Bill, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica. That's right. The president is going to take his best shot tonight at trying to turn around those falling job approval ratings. He'll urge Congress to pass several hundred billion dollars worth of projects, which he won't call stimulus, and he'll set the stage to blame Republicans if they don't act. The president's plan is expected to include an extension of payroll tax cuts for employees and jobless benefits, school, road, and bridge rebuilding, and a package which would include payroll tax relief for employers, aid to state and local governments to hire teachers and first responders, a tax credit to businesses for new hires and for hiring returning vets, mortgage refinancing, and job training. It will be paid for. We're not going to bust the, the debt ceiling. But none of this would be paid for anytime soon, only as part of a long-term deficit reduction package, something Republicans already unhappy with the president are unlikely to accept. We don't blame the president for the problems he inherited. He inherited some, but we do believe he ought to accept responsibility for making our economy worse. Tonight's speech comes at a low point in Mr. Obama's presidency. Unemployment remains at 9.1 percent. No new jobs were created in August, and the latest Gallup poll shows his approval rating at just 42 percent. Historian Douglas Brinkley says that if things don't improve, President Obama risks the fate of another Democratic president. Awful hard to avoid Jimmy Carter syndrome if the economy doesn't get a lot better soon. But, says Brinkley, Republicans are likely to have little incentive to go along with most of the president's agenda. I'd say most Republicans are going to say, let's just sit this out and see what happens a year from now. I'll let Obama stew in his own stimulus juices. Well, that's exactly what the White House expects to happen. So the president's advisors and even the president himself in some public speeches are treating this as the beginning of his campaign for re-election. They have been framing, <clears throat> pardon me, framing a political response, making the case that if Congress doesn't act, it is going to have to answer to the American people. Erica? Bill Plant at the White House this morning. Bill, thanks.